Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In this Redstone Tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Connect 4. The nice part about this build is it's very easy to play and also very simple to clean up. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. So we have all of our colored concrete up top, and let's say it's my move, I want to go on the end. All I have to do is push this button right here, that will drop a game piece down below. And then you wait for your opponent to go. So they went right there. And then, of course, you just keep playing until you finally have yourself a winner. Once you finish the game, it is very easy to clean up. All we simply do is come over to this button right here. We're going to go ahead and push it. That's going to retract the pistons down below, drop all the game pieces down. And then all we do is go down to the chest below, open it up, pull out our game pieces, and then take it back up to the top and reset the game. To make Connect 4, you are going to need a 10 by 5 area like you see right here. Now, let's take a look at our supplies. There we go. There are all the supplies we'll need. So we have 21 pistons, 7 sticky pistons, 14 target blocks, 8 hoppers, 8 redstone torches, 1 repeater, 19 redstone dust, 14 stone buttons, 1 wooden button, and then a chest for the collection. And for the rack, you are going to need building blocks, four stair blocks of whatever building block you choose, seven torches to break up the concrete power down below, and then a total of 84 mangrove trap doors. I just split them up in 42 because it'll be 42 on each side. Now, the reason why I chose to use mangrove trap doors is because that's the only trap door that you can actually see things through, and it actually looks like the Connect 4 rack, as you saw in the demonstration. And finally, you are going to need your game pieces, which is made out of concrete powder. So for this, I chose to go with red and yellow. So I have... 21 red and 21 yellow concrete powder, but you can choose whatever color you'd like. To get started, what we're going to do is place in our collection system. And before we go any further, I do want to add that if you plan on building this flush with the surface level, you want to dig this area out three blocks below the ground level. Now let's go ahead and get started. We want to grab our chest. We want to come to one side of this right in the center and place down our chest like that. Now grab your eight hoppers and we want to run a hopper into the back of the chest. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, of course, make sure all of your hoppers are running into the one in front of it. So it should look like this. And this will run all the way down into the chest. Next, what we want to do is go to the back of the build. We want to place a temporary block right here. Place a block right there and place one, two, three, four, five, six, eight seven blocks like that place another temporary block right here get your target blocks and go one two three four five six seven blocks this way go ahead and remove those temporary blocks now what we want to do is grab our redstone dust and place redstone dust along these blocks here and then you will notice that they'll run right into the target blocks and that's exactly what we want once you've done that go ahead and grab your sticky pistons and place sticky pistons on top of the target blocks like this so this is how it should look so far. From here, what we want to do is place two more blocks like this. Get your redstone dust, place redstone dust on top of that block. Get your repeater, place your repeater on top of that block facing towards the back of the build. And set this to two ticks of delay so it looks like that. Now go ahead and place a temporary block right here, a block up, a temporary block here, a block up. Go ahead and remove that one. And then grab your redstone torch and place your redstone torch right here. That's going to power this redstone line which is then going to extend our sticky pistons like that. Now that we have that side of the circuit done, let's start working on the next side. So from here, what we want to do is grab our pistons. We want to come to the face of the pistons here and place pistons facing up just like this. Get your building blocks once again. We want to come down to that temporary block right above the chest. Go ahead and place a block right here. We can now remove that temporary block. Place a temporary block right here. Get your target blocks and place another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back, remove that temporary block. Now go ahead and place a block right here and then a block down and run this all the way down to the end to the last target block. Get your redstone dust. Line this all up with redstone dust. Just like that. Now grab your redstone torches once again and we're going to place redstone torches on top of the target blocks. And then go ahead and grab your building blocks once again and start placing them along the side of the pistons. And once you start placing them, you'll notice that the pistons will extend. 
just like that. This circuit is done, but we want to be able to power it from the game floor. So to do that, all we simply do is grab redstone dust, place redstone dust on the block that's above the chest, place a block above that, get your wooden button, and place your wooden button there, and it's all ready to go. So if we push it to give it a test, you can see everything is working as it should be. And before we continue, this is very important. We want to be able to break our concrete powder. Once this retracts, that allows the concrete powder to fall. Enough time, actually, for the whole game board to fall. So if you happen to max out the game board, the timing of this is enough for all the pieces to fall through. But we want the concrete powder to be able to break. So all we do is grab our torches and put them down below. And all we have to do is line them up with the target block. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this circuit is ready to go. Once we confirm that the circuit is in fact working, we can go ahead and fill the game floor in. So place two blocks out from the button here. Run it all the way down to the build area. Just like this. And then fill all of these blocks in. Now what we want to do is build our rack. So right here, we want to go six blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go ahead and do the same to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we want to make these three wide. So build up another six on both sides of that center pillar. And there we go. Now it's time to place in the trap doors. And for me, this is the most time consuming part. It's very easy to do and creative, but I've done it in survival on the Truly Bedrock server. And I know this took me a lot of time. So the easiest way to do this is to grab your red concrete powder and line this up just like that. So we will have 21 of each giving us a total of 42 pieces. So that will be three rows of seven for each color, just like that. Now go ahead and grab your trap doors and start placing your trap doors. I'm not going to do this on camera just because it does take a good amount of time and creative as well. So once I have these in, I'll show you what to do next. Once you're all done, it should look like this. We want to go ahead and close all the trap doors so it looks like an actual Connect 4 rack. And then this is going to be the super easy part because we already built in the circuit. We can go ahead and press the button here. But before we do, this just reminded me. There is a chance, because we did not close this off just yet, that the concrete powder can break and fall off to this side. So to prevent that, all we want to do is place a block on the end like this, and then the same to the other side. Place a block right there, and you are all ready to go. Nothing is going to bounce. So when the pistons retract, the concrete powder is going to fall. It's going to be broken by the torches. And because we placed in these blocks here, that should keep everything contained within the area of the hoppers, meaning nothing is gonna bounce out and we're not gonna lose any pieces. So going back to what I was originally saying, now that we have this done, we have the circuit built, we can clear the board, give this one final test just to show that the board will actually be cleared in a timely manner. And then all of it's gonna flow down into the chest like you saw during the demonstration of this build at the beginning of the video. Finally, we are on the home stretch. And if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give a like and subscribe and check out all the other redstone tutorials on the channel. The last thing to do for this build is to place the pistons up top, which actually pushes our game pieces down onto the game board. So to do that, what we're gonna do is place a block here. We wanna come two blocks out like that. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So we have five blocks here and then place blocks running all the way across the top. Just like this, do the same to the other side. Just like that, fill that in. Now what we want to do is grab our pistons. We want to come to the edge here and place the pistons facing in like this. Same for this side. Get your stone buttons. We want to come down below to this block right here. Place your stone buttons along these blocks right below the piston. Again, same for the other side here. And that is all done. The only thing left to do is to place in your game pieces. So go ahead and line all of those up. Just like this. And now the game is ready to be played. I didn't add this to the original supply list, but to make life a little bit easier for putting the pieces back, you can place ladders along the side of the wall right here. 
just so it's easy for you to climb to the top. Now, I also had a little bit of a fail safe because I have fallen in and you don't want to start breaking all your trap doors. So if you happen to fall in for whatever reason, I do recommend maybe on this side, just knocking out two blocks here and then placing a door just to keep everything contained. And finally, for the final details, all we're going to do is grab our stair blocks. I'm going to place stair blocks on the bottom like this, also on the top, just to kind of complete the way the rack looks. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Stair blocks here and stair blocks there. And there we go. This build is officially done. And there you have everyone. That is how you make Connect 4 in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is going to be the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.